I'm back with the Bolt EUV, and guess what? This is part two of the tips and tricks video. Let's get into it. Something that's nice is these little buttons on the door handles. There's one on the driver's side and one on the passenger side. The driver's side, when locking, will lock the door for all the doors, the car. Uh, same with the passenger side, but then unlocking from the driver's side will only unlock the driver. If you want to unlock the entire car, you can do it from the passenger side. And then from the back of the vehicle, if you're approaching it and you hit the latch and the car's locked, it will just unlock the back hatch, not the entire car, but it'll let you get in as long as your key fob is close enough to use it. Another tip is the auto wiper settings. Under settings and vehicle, you have comfort and convenience. You have rain sense for wipers. That should be on by default. You can disable that and that's useful for things like going through a car wash or when you just want to be able to control it yourself. Something you may find useful, when driving, you'll be able to use the cruise control and normally you can hit the button up or down to do one mile per hour increments automatically but if you're tired of having to hit it if you need to go up uh, quite a few miles per hour all at once if you press up and hold you'll go up by five mile per hour increments or down five mile per hour increments so it'll go to say 50 then 55 and so on. Uh, makes it really easy to adjust speed um, when you're on the highway and or off. Um, I, I find it very useful so I don't have to tap it multiple times just to get to the speed I need. One thing that might be useful for people that drive at night a lot is the auto bright feature. You can see the button right here on the left stock. Uh, clicking that on will allow for brights to be on but then automatic so when it detects another car coming it will turn them off automatically so it's to not blind them and to avoid you having to constantly turn them on and off uh, whenever another car is coming it does surprisingly well at keeping an eye on other vehicles so that it does turn it off uh, with a good distance and a comfortable amount to where it uh, it's not something you have to worry about anymore. I don't often use it because I don't drive at night too often, uh, but for those that do, it's a great feature to have. So if you're familiar with the Chevy Bolt, you may recognize the gauge cluster here uh, and the wonderful gasometer. If you're someone that doesn't like the gasometer and or maybe this is too much, a little confusing, you actually have an option to simplify this overall gauge by going down to this setting and switching to modern from enhanced. And you'll see it just keeps that middle range as the estimate and then the acceleration and braking regen um, and everything on the right is simplified. The overall middle stays the same, but you have less overall clutter and view that will then be easier for someone who doesn't need all the information to know I have about this many miles without the confusion overall. And just to go back, go left, down to the second to last one, and switch to enhanced. Regarding the gauges, some might find it difficult to understand without a battery percentage exactly where I'm at. And one thing that's actually been pretty nice with this vehicle and a design feature, as you can tell, this isn't just a single color of green. It's actually a lighter green with a darker green. And if you count it, these individual dark green and light green bars equate to roughly 5% of the battery. So having the, line, the white lines that are 
zero, 25, 50, 75, 100%. In between, you have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So each five is easy to assess. All you have to do is go by the closest bar. So in this case, that'd be the 75% bar. And then I'd go 5, 10, 15. So it's 75, 80, 85, 90. So I'm right around the 85 to 90% at 229 miles remaining. Easy enough. In addition to that, while driving, you'll see a green bar to just to the left or an orange bar along with a corresponding orange circle or green circle, depending on how good you're driving. And that's why I like having the enhanced uh, gauges because you can then see how it's trending overall where if it's going towards the green if it's going all the way to the top you're trending towards that max number if it's going all the way orange to the bottom you're trending towards that lower amount and you may want to adjust your speed or driving uh, to make sure you're doing a little more efficient driving overall now it's something that's different for every individual on how well and how efficient you drive but being able to read it easily while driving is definitely a benefit one thing i found really cool with electric cars is i have been able to during the winter have the car plugged in start the car while charging and let it warm up so it gets up to a good temperature before leaving while still charging so as to not drain the battery while warming up. And I can do that with the garage closed because it's not emitting any gas or anything and keeping it safe. Now, make sure to be safe while doing that, of course, and pay attention. You can also use the camera to easily park in a garage having a front-facing view and overall bird's eye view so you know you're fitting nicely within the garage let me know if you learned a little something today if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a comment below make sure to like subscribe and thanks for watching the thunder mites later